Hey, today I'm gonna to teach you how to record punch-ins in Reaper using time selection auto punch. Let's do it. So for starters, we have to enable this feature. We can find it down here in our transport where the play, record, and loop button is. First, we right click our record button and up pops this dialog. We've got record mode normal, record mode time selection auto punch, record mode auto punch selected items. We'll be selecting record mode time selection auto punch. Awesome, now that we've got it enabled, we'll move on to our next step, which is creating a selection. Say for instance, we wanna punch in our chorus. We just create a selection from the start of the chorus to the end of the chorus, holding down our left mouse button and dragging to create this selection. Sweet, now that we've created our selection, we're ready to record. For this example, I'll be using drums. I'd get the drummer to play into the section and out of the section for a smooth transition. But this works for any instrument and you can have your vocalist sing in or your guitarist play into the section and it'll work just as smoothly. Here we go. Awesome. That's how easy it is to record punch-ins in Reaper using time selection auto punch. You can use this feature to punch in guitars, bass, any instrument you want, and it'll be just that easy. Hopefully this helped you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Cheers.